Time now for Fantasy Football Today for CBS Local Sports. I'm Jamie Eisenberg. That's Dave Richard. That's Heath Cummings. We're giving you starts and sits for the Fantasy Playoffs. It's week 14, and we're going to get you ready to go to win your matchup. Let's start with the quarterbacks and the guy that we're starting this week. Let us down in week 13, but we're going back to the well with Sam Darnold. There are about 30 teams I would not trust Sam Darnold against, but he's playing one that I would, and that's the Miami Dolphins. Their pass rush is the worst in the league. That means he's going to have time. They allow the second most fantasy points to quarterbacks this year. It takes guts to start Sam Darnold after one bad game last week, but he was good before that. I think his receivers won't let him down. He'll be awesome. The quarterback that we're sitting is in a rare spot where he's usually great at home, but you don't think that'll be the case this week, Heath? I would start Sam Darnold over Drew Brees with my season on the line. I'm just worried so much about this matchup against the San Francisco 49ers, who have struggled with mobile quarterbacks. Kyler Murray, Lamar Jackson have both had success. Basically, no one else has. I don't want to start Brees. So last week, we had a great performance from Miles Sanders. No Jordan Howard. At least that's the expectation going into Monday night against the Giants. We're going right back to Miles Sanders again. I am going right back to Miles Sanders. Love the fact that they unleashed him, gave him 17 carries. He's been awesome in the passing game. This is a bad Giants defense. And I think with Eli Manning starting for the Giants, this game could turn into a bit of a track meet. I like Sanders as a top 10 back this week. In the off chance that Howard is cleared. I'm still starting Miles Sanders, just not quite as optimistically. Okay, so there's Miles Sanders with or without Jordan Howard. The guy that we're sitting at the running back position. Getting a lot of work, just not doing a lot with it. Well, he's actually seen his playing time drop by 20% over the last three games. He is still getting good touches, but eight PPR points or less in four of his past six. Six non-PPR points, Jamie, in five of his past six games. The Texans have only allowed two 100-yard rushers all year, and only four running backs have run for a touchdown against Houston. It's a tough matchup for a guy whose role is diminishing. Yeah, hopefully Lindsey takes advantage of it, but Dave is not very optimistic, as you can tell. At the wide receiver position, there's nobody left for the Colts. T.Y. Hilton <laughs> dealing with an injury. Paris Campbell could come back. Devin Funches we haven't seen all season. Reggie Wayne not coming back for the Colts. <laughs> Marvin Harrison's in the Hall of Fame. Zach Pascal's left. He's the right man in the right place at the right time. He's got 11 or more PPR points in three of his last four with at least seven targets. He should get at least that many against Tampa Bay. They've allowed a touchdown to a wide receiver in 11 of 12 games. Hopefully Zach Pascal does what he did last week when he was good in targets, receptions, and yards. The wide receiver we're sitting this week is? It's Mike Williams, and I do believe he's going to score a touchdown at some point. Maybe it will be this week, but we have now three of his past four games with no more than five targets. He's not being used in the red zone like he was last year, and I do expect the Chargers will be able to run all over Jacksonville, so I don't know how many passes they attempt. Yep, uh, well, we'll see. Like you said, Mike Williams, he and Robert Woods. <laughs> a lot of catches, a lot of yards, no touchdowns through the air. Woods does have one on the ground. All right, so to recap, your starts are Sam Darnold, Miles Sanders, and Zach Pascal. Your sits are Drew Brees, Philip Lindsay, and Mike Williams. Good luck to all of you in the fantasy playoffs in Week 14. For Heath, for Dave, I'm Jamie. This has been Fantasy Football Today for CBS Local Sports.